I'll just go over these quickly before. These are, these are the absolute core for um, a strong team. You have to have a strong leadership, however you define that. You need someone that's going to make the decisions, going to stand by the team, going to be there for you. You need a common goal, which is your vision and your mission statement, which we covered in the first one. The rules of the game, it's absolutely mandatory to find out what game are you playing, because you might be playing soccer and your team's ready to play hockey, because you haven't communicated what the rules of your game are. No ifs, ands or buts, do not go grey on this. What's the action plan for the whole team, which I covered again in the first session? This is great, you want to support risk taking. You need to encourage your team to build as opposed to shrink. So if they go, oh, I've got a great idea, but I don't know how you'll take it, let's hear it, sounds great. And 100% involvement inclusion in the business, you'll get so much more. The other one, which is one of my favourites, and this goes back to a little bit to sales as well as the identity iceberg. This is conscious, this is subconscious. So our behaviour, actions and decisions is modelled on our skills, beliefs, values and identity and the environment that, that we have. Mm -hmm. we, we change this by learning, changing, growing, experiencing different things, and this, this obviously affects this. So you need to be able to undergo a process, whatever that process is, that you can bring out the best of you, and then you'll bring out the best of your team. So in summary, be true to yourself. So important. Be genuine, be authentic. Make each day your masterpiece. Like if you had seven days left to live, what would you be doing? Because you should be doing it now. That shouldn't be a, a put off question. You should already be doing it. Help others. When you help others, they're more likely to help you ten times. When you reach out to others, you get so much more back. Read good books at least half an hour a day. You will become the company you keep, the books you read, the actions you take, and your world will reflect this. So right now, if you have any issues in your world, or you have any problems, or you're struggling with something, that's because that's what you're putting out there. Like, you have a struggle in here, so you're expecting a struggle, so a struggle shows up. Like, you will have the employees that you deserve. Now how does that sound? You will have the team members that you deserve. So as you step up and improve your game, you'll get greater, better, more dedicated team members because you're more dedicated. So all I can say is work on yourself, the team will come as well, and you work on the team as well, but in this way. Make friendship a fine art, because again it goes back to relationships. Pray for guidance, and you want to get the right guidance. Like, you know, there's all different types of guidance. You need to get the guidance, mentoring, whatever you need that's right for you, that's going to bring out your best. I'm going to use another example here. Tiger Woods, you know, one of the best golfers. He has four different types of games. So, yes, he plays golf, but within that golf game, he has, like, the short putt, the long stroke, you know, um, there's one other, and then the sand game, right? So there's four different types of shots in his golf. Now, three of them, he's actually ranked one and two in the world. So he's ranked really, really highly in the world. And the sand game, he's ranked 238 in the world. So which game is he playing? Which game do you think he's playing? He's Sorry? He That's right. So he actually had a coach come and coach him on the sand game. And what happened? He got worse. He got worse because because they coach him on his weakness, and the thing is, the weakness is the hardest thing to improve. So what you want to do is you want to coach yourself on your strengths, coach your team on your strengths, and weaknesses you either do a little bit of work or you delegate, give them to someone else where it's their strengths. So now he only coaches on those three, and then he never gets in the sand. Like if he plays his strengths, his ball never ends in the sand. So that's what you want to do. Um. Give thanks for all of your blessings each and every day. And I mean, I'm sure you've seen The Secret and things like that. The more that you are grateful for the things in your life, the more that you reflect that, the more it comes back. And it's really interesting because, you know, I've had a massive shift in the last 18 months and particularly probably in the last three or four months because now sort of everything I touch turns to gold at the moment. I'm like, right, stay with it, stay with it because who knows how long it lasts. And even for a small example, it's like I took all my clients out for drinks the other night and I mean, the first round was going to cost at least $100 with all my clients. And I'm like, yeah, no worries, you know. So I went to the bartender and I said, what would you like? What would you like? What would you like? What would you like? So I had all the drinks and stuff. And then I said, yeah, how much is that? And he goes, no, 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 no. It's on me. I'm like, do you think that's ever happened to me in my life? Like, I'm like, do this. Like, are you, exactly. Are you kidding? And I was actually wearing the exact same outfit, doing the exact same thing. 
I didn't have to pay for my drinks for myself or my clients. Now, why did that happen? Because I'm putting it out there. I'm so grateful and so I'm in such a good space right now that the universe is gifting me all this stuff. And all I'm doing is trying to put it back, put it back, put it back. Now, when I was in that tent, eating lentils and rice mm. and, you know, doing the house eating for three years, do you think anyone would have bought me a drink then? No, because I was so tight and pent up going, oh, my God, this sucks. I hate my life. No, I couldn't bring any abundance to me. And I can now because I've let go and I'm in a, some sort of a flow. So right now, because as I learn and grow, and I'm coached as well, I see in my clients, the second they get tight on anything, they go, it's not going to happen. They stop the flow towards them. So I have to coach them out of it, let go, let go, let go, and they let go and it comes. You know, it's very interesting. Um, that's actually it.